So Sony have just had their big conference to reveal what the PS4 is all about. So we thought we would delve in to some amazing brand new technology that's gonna keep you entertained in 2013. So let's first imagine, have you ever played one of those uh, split screen two player racing games? You know, where you've got your screen at the top and the person you're playing against down the bottom. If you have, you'll know that it can be pretty confusing and maybe make you feel slightly ill. And if you're playing something like, say, a first-person shooter using the same system, it's reasonably easy to cheat. If you don't know where the other person is, you just look at their screen and find out where they are. Not that I've ever done anything like that, of course. Now, what's, what's being developed now is some brand new technology that you could be watching the same screen as the person you're playing, but see two completely different images. So in other words, I could be playing and seeing my screen full view on the full screen, while the person that I'm playing could be watching the same TV and see their view full screen on the same TV that I'm watching. What? It's pretty hard to get your head wrapped around, but with 3D technology, it is possible to do this. So if you imagine you're watching a 3D movie, but you have your glasses off, when you're seeing that, you're seeing a sort of blurred image, you're seeing two different images, but with your 3D glasses on, all of a sudden your left eye is sort of keyed into one image while your right eye is sort of polarized onto the other image. And then your brain combines the two and gives you that feeling of 3D. So now with this idea, if we take say on my glasses, I have both left lenses. And then the person that I'm playing against has two right lenses in their glasses. We can now watch that same screen, but see two completely different images. Now, there's some TVs being developed now that are um, going to sort of further that technology on a little bit. They're called 4K TVs, and they will set you back quite a little bit of money. But this is a 4K TV, which is quite impressive. If you imagine TVs, that standard HD TVs at the moment are 1080p, this is almost four times the resolution. So it's pretty impressive. Now let's have a think about some mobile gaming tech that's coming out in 2013. Mobile gaming tech's been around for a while. We've had the good old classic Game Boy, you've got things like the PSP and more recently the PS Vita. But what's being developed now, with tablets becoming pretty huge, gaming tablets are being developed. So we've got tablets that are specifically des designed for games. And some of these gaming tablets are pretty impressive. They can actually handle games that are probably, that, that would compare on, uh, say, like a really high-spec laptop. But what you can also do with the gaming tablet is add on uh, different things like docks and controllers. So these sort of things are being developed so that you can add on things so that you've got like a little analog control or some kind of buttons down the side to kind of add to that gaming experience. But also on the mobile gaming tech that's being developed um, is something similar to a standard sort of gaming console controller, but it's also got its own screen. So if you imagine you could download games directly onto this or stream games from the internet onto this and play them like that, mobile, in your house or on the bus or whatever. But what you could also do if you're at your home near your PC, you could stream games from, your say, your really beefy gaming PC straight on to this little console with its uh, screen. So you could be lying lazy on your couch while your gaming PC does all the hard work and this only has to decode it. So instantly you've got this really kind of fluid um, sort of free running system that works really well. Your gaming PC does all the work, this decodes the video, so it makes it a really sort of streamlined system. Now finally, some uh, little gaming tech that I'm gonna talk about is playing with your balls. This is a bit of new technology where you can control these little metal spheres that roll around on the floor and you can use your mobile phone to control them. Now I know it doesn't sound that interesting, but when we throw in that buzz phrase that's been knocked around all the time at the moment, augmented reality, all of a sudden it becomes a little bit more interesting. So with this augmented reality, a video app that you can get onto your phone, you can point that at the spheres that are rolling around on the floor and they all of a sudden become anything that you want. It could be something like a hedgehog that you're controlling on, on the floor or maybe a small shrew of some kind. So if you enjoyed this gaming tech stuff, then subscribe to Head Squeeze and you'll win nothing. It's just subscribing, it doesn't cost you anything. It only takes a second, really. You just click subscribe and you'll get loads of different videos and things. It's worth it.